Hello and welcome to a new episode of Retro Gaming with Ricardo and today you've guessed it, it's Frogger on the Atari ST. Frogger, a lovely family game, was produced in 1981 as an arcade game developed by Konami. It was licensed for North America distribution by Sega and Gremlin and worldwide by Sega itself. It's regarded a classic from the golden age of video arcade games, noted for its novel gameplay and theme. The object of the game is to guide frogs to their homes one by one by crossing a busy road, navigating a full river of hazards. Incidentally, the Frogger Arcade coin-op version is an early example of a game with more than one CPU, as it used two Z80 processors. The game starts with three, five or seven frogs, or lives, depending on the settings used by the operator. The player guides a frog which starts at the bottom of the screen to his home in one of the five slots at the top of the screen. The lower half of the screen contains a road with motor vehicles, which in various versions include cars, trucks, buses, dune buggies, bulldozers, vans, taxis, bicycles and or motorcycles, speeding along horizontally. The upper half of the screen consists of a river with logs, alligators and turtles, all moving horizontally across the screen at varying speeds. The very top of the screen contains five frog homes, which are the destinations for each frog. Every level is timed, usually one minute. The player must act quickly to finish each level before the time expires. The only player control is a four direction joystick, no fire button, as this is a family friendly game, and this is used to navigate the frog. Each push in the direction causes the frog to hop once in that direction. On the bottom half of the screen, the player must successfully guide the frog between opposing lanes of trucks, cars and other vehicles to avoid becoming roadkill. Right in the middle of a screen is a median where the player must prepare to navigate the river. By jumping swiftly on moving logs and the backs of turtles and alligators except the alligator jaws, the player can guide his or her frog safely to one of the five empty lily pads. Also in the frog homes, you may see bugs to catch giving you an extra bonus, or escort a lady frog for additional bonuses, or there may be a snake, an otter in the river. In the frog homes as well, you may find it inhabited by a alligator, which will cause instant death. After five levels, the game gets briefly easier again, as it gets progressively harder to the next fifth level. Frogger does have a title, which is quite ominous of being the arcade game with the most ways to die. And here's a few. Being hit or running into a road vehicle, jumping into the river's water, running into snakes, otters, or into an alligator's jaws in the river, jumping into a home invaded by an alligator, staying on top of a diving turtle until it's completely submerged, riding a log, alligator, or turtle off the side of the screen, jumping into a home already occupied by a frog, jumping into a side of a home or the bush, or running out of time. Frogger was ported to many contemporary home systems. Parker Brothers received the licensing from Sega for cartridge ver versions, while Sierra gained the magnetic media rights. Platforms include for ROM cartridges and magnetic media for the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, the Timex Sinclair, the Dragon 32, Atari 2600, just to name but a few. Parker Brothers spent 10 million on advertising Frogger along with the Empire Strikes Back on the old Sinclair and Atari systems. There have been lots of ports over the year, but years, but most recently Xbox Live Arcade have produced a fantastic version. Things have also gone 3D. But it's important to note there have been many clones. Pacific Coast Highway for the Atari 8-bit family, Preppy, Frostbite, and we have to mention, we've got to mention, Crossy Road for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone, which has a randomly generated series of roads and river sections and additional themes. Thanks for watching and check back for more videos in the series soon.